guys, we made it to Venice! And oh my gosh, it was such a dreamy entrance into Venice. So as you saw, we took a flight into Venice Airport and then we took a water bus, I think it's classed as, um, into Venice itself. So it was about an hour journey from the airport um, to Venice City and it was the dreamiest entrance. So what you can see now is the Rialto Bridge. So the water bus took us all the way down the Grand Canal. So that was our kind of first impressions of Venice and it was absolutely breathtaking. So the majority of the people got off of the water um, bus right after the Rialto Bridge. So all the way then until our stop, which was quite a way, we had the water bus completely to ourselves. It felt like we had a private taxi taking us down the Grand Canal. It was just the most amazing, surreal moment. We were able to stand up the top on the deck and get these unreal shots of Venice and all of the absolutely stunning buildings. The architecture is just unreal. I think Venice is one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen. This first day, we didn't take much footage really. We didn't vlog. Um, so a lot of these videos are from our phones. Um, because like I said, we, we were just so absolutely stunned by what we were seeing. We completely forgot to vlog and we only got kind of snippets here and there from our phones. But we got off of the water bus once we'd got to what we thought was the stop closest to our Airbnb, but it actually wasn't. We had to walk quite a way, but it was fine because we got to see these stunning views of the city. Um, yeah, it was just, it was absolutely magical. After wandering around Venice for the majority of the day, um, we decided to head to the Rialto Bridge for kind of sunset and um, finish our day there. Um, we headed back to the Airbnb quite early because we had to get up um, pretty early for our next day. And then the next day we were up bright and early. We needed to find a cute little cafe so we could grab a bite to eat and some iced coffee because it was so unbelievably hot. Um, we then wandered around a little bit just taking in the views. We found the gondoliers main station and this was one of my absolute most favorite views whilst we were here and it was very close to our Airbnb. Then we jumped on the water bus and took, I think it was about a 45 minute journey over to the island of Burano where we were spending our morning. has the most amazing colourful houses it's just unbelievable like this island is an absolute dream for Instagrammers like I took so many pictures here but that's not all they have here they have loads of amazing little boutique shops they sell so much glass so Murano which is an island nearby is really famous for um, glass blowing so um, I guess they also do it in Burano as well so they sell so many gorgeous little like pieces of jewellery or ornaments and we actually got to see some people making jewellery as well which was amazing. They have all different types of shops as well so I'm sure there is something for everybody. I would have loved to have literally gone into every single shop but I needed to contain myself because I only have hand luggage so I couldn't bring much back at all so I could only buy a few select little pieces but I'm happy with what I managed to get.
after Phil finished meeting all of the cats of Burano, we found ourselves in this lovely, I guess you'd call it town kind of square. It's where all of the main restaurants were, a few more beautiful shops. Um, so we decided to sit down, rest our feet for a little bit, grab a drink and some fresh fruit and just people watch and yeah, just sort of watch the world go by. And then it was time for us to head back to the bus station, the boat bus station and leave Verano. It was such a great little morning trip. We spent, I would say maybe three, possibly four hours there. Um, you could definitely spend even longer. Bring your money if you want to go. We bought a couple of bits, but we couldn't buy too much because we'd only brought hand luggage for this trip. So it did stop me spending money, which I didn't need to spend, but I would have loved to have bought a few more pieces to bring home, some souvenirs. And that was it for our little trip to Burano. It was well worth the visit. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because there will be more Venice vlogs to come. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.